Hey, welcome everybody. 3D HP here. I had a problem with my EMS on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, but I fixed it. I'll tell you all about it right after this. Hey, welcome back everybody. Yeah, I've had my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon for, I don't know, three or four weeks now. It's been printing great for two and a half weeks. And then on my slot one feeder, it was having trouble retracting. I'll show you a video here in a minute. And I contacted Bamboo Labs and we fixed the problem. But when it would, let's say you got four slots on the AMS. When slot one would retract, most of the time it wouldn't retract far enough and the motor would just keep running and running and running. So I'd have to physically grab the film, pull it up about an inch, then it would stop running and it would switch to the next spool, whether that was two, three, or four on the slots. And then when that other slot got done and went back to one, the motor would run it wasn't grabbing. So I'd have to grab the film and feed it in about three inches and it would grab and go. And this was a constant problem that happened for a few days and I basically couldn't print. And when I was watching TV in another room, I would use my Bamboo Handy app on my phone, which is awesome, and it would tell me there's a problem, so I'd hit the retry on my phone, let it retry, and it couldn't do it. Once in a while it worked, most of the time it didn't work. So I contacted Bamboo Labs on a Thursday, I don't know, a week or so ago. And they took them over the weekend, I'm figuring they must have been closed. So they took them about six days to get back with me. They got back with me, they wanted to see a detailed video, which I didn't send them initially, I just told them what was going on, and some pictures, and to look for cracks in a few places, which I didn't find any of that. So I sent them a video, they reviewed it, overnight they got back with me, they sent me a code that I could use on their website here in the U.S. to reorder the part that would cover shipping and the price of the part. Then a few days later that part came out from California, I got it installed this morning, and everything is pe peachy keen, it's working great, no problem. So I definitely had a problem with the AMS, the, the, the unit. And... Uh, <clears throat> And this stole unit right here, which I'll show you here in a minute. But let me show you a quick video clip, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Now it's just going to keep running like that unless I pull it up about an inch to make it stop and another one will take over. And then when the other one takes over and retracts, then the, go back to the, it'll go back to the brown one and then it won't grab it. It needs to be pushed in about two inches. So that's going to throw an error in a minute. Just sitting there running and it's not grabbing it. I would have to help it. So let me give it a little bit of help. Okay, now it turned off. I pulled up on it just a little bit. Actually, I was pushing down by mistake, but I just pulled up about an inch and then it shut off the sensor and then the red took over. See, it's running, it's not grabbing. It tried to grab it, but couldn't. So... So, I don't know.
Yep, had to pull it up a little over an inch and then it stopped. And then one other thing I did, I contacted a friend of mine here in town that's got three X1 carbon printers and he has three or four AMS units and he mentioned to get some compressed air and put it down in the feeder hole, you know, and blow everything out because there might be some debris in there causing a problem. And then I soon realized that if you just take the filament out of the slot, the back side is completely open so you can take compressed air and easily blow everything out without damaging it. And that didn't solve the problem. The gearing, the unit, everything looked perfectly fine on it, but I'm assuming, assuming um, that it must have been the motor was a little bit weak or not strong enough because of all the retracting, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and it was slot one, which I constantly use. But like I said, Bamboo took care of it. They, on their Bamboo Wiki, which I'll post here on the screen, and I'll have a link in the description where you can go to the Bamboo Wiki if you don't know of it. Most people already do that have a Bamboo One printer. They have a detailed pictures and explains how to take this out. You know, the AMS unit has, you remove the PTFE tube, take out two screws, unplug the connectors. There's four little screws that hold this unit in. Disconnect the cable, and it's very simple to replace. And they even give you a little tube of silicone glue that comes with this, in case once you plug in all your connectors, you can put a dab of glue on each spot. If you just want to make sure that vibration and jarring, nothing comes unplugged. They shouldn't, but if you choose to use the glue, they do supply it. But I did solve the problem. It was fixed. Drove me bananas for a few days trying to figure it out. And then what I was doing in the meantime while I was waiting on Bamboo to get back with me, I just used slot 2, 3, and 4, and I skipped one altogether. But yeah, I'm loving the printer. It's great. I've been printing some really cool stuff with it, like this multicolored bottle that I've done here by a Lightspeed and some other things that you guys have probably seen. And these spawn emblems I'm going to put up on my Etsy store. Actually, I have on my Etsy store. And multicolored, they're coming out amazingly perfect. I mean... I'm able to paint things. I do know how to paint. I am a painter. I don't paint that much, but yeah, this multicolored prints, man, these things are really cool. They're awesome. And uh, all the filament companies out there are probably really happy with the Bamboo Labs printer being out because, yes, it purges a lot of filament on color changes. You can go in settings and you can fine tune that so it doesn't purge so much. And uh, yeah, but it's, it's doing great. And I just want to get this video put out there. So that if any of you are having trouble with this particular problem and you're kind of going nuts, what's wrong, you can't find an answer online, maybe you'll see my video and say, hey, that's what mine's doing. Let me contact Bamboo Labs. And, uh, and, and when you do contact Bamboo Labs, be sure you send them a video, send them pictures of everything. And here's a close-up of that. That little feeder unit. And if your machine should be out of warranty at some point in the future, I believe these are like $35.99. They're really cheap to buy these to replace them. They're not expensive at all. So, but this was covered under warranty. And there's a little motor in there right there. So, you know, thank you for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I really appreciate it. And happy printing.